What's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Jace coming out of Kodak Severe from Fish and Forge, Gallon Bird, and then beautiful Great Smoky Mountains, Tennessee. Woo! Lots to say, but I do love to say it, guys. And if you ain't already, hit that subscribe button, hit all the bells and whistles, so when I make a video, you will get it. I know I've been rocky here lately, but we're trying to get back on track. Things have been kind of wild and just been wild we'll put it that way but we are going to cruise through town a little bit show you all a little bit of pigeon forge and i gotta run some errands uh hell i ain't been this way in a while myself so first off i am going to stop at the post office i've got a package for jacqueline felton i've also got a package for Linda McKenzie. Linda, you will get your refund. And thank you guys uh, on the long sleeve shirts uh, for me not making the order. I couldn't make it. I couldn't fulfill it. Uh, and like I've told everybody, I dipped into the YouTube money a little bit too much because uh, I have two separate accounts, my own account and YouTube account. And um, kind of dipped in it a little too much for Christmas for my son. So I want to thank each and every one of you all because out of 30 some people, only four people wanted their money back. And that is amazing. And that shows what kind of people are out there and what kind of channel I have. But Linda, your two masks are in transit. They've been in transit, whatever. Uh, they're gonna let me send this off for free. So you will have your two masks in a minute. And I've also got a package for Rebecca Laney. Your shirts are on their way, the t-shirts. And uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. I wanna thank everybody uh, because without you guys, for real, Christmas wouldn't have been the way it was. And it just is what it is. I just couldn't fulfill the order. Got a hold of everybody and everybody was amazing everybody that i got a hold of and to the ones that want your money back you will get your money back uh just give me a little time and you will get it so and it was only like four people i think it's like amazing but anyways guys here we are on 66 fixing to go to the post office and drop these off and make sure I've got my got my old tracking number still right here. As you can see, it's all wadded up, real long. Uh, my tracking numbers. So, um, and oh yeah, Nathan, you will also get a uh, delivery as well. So, sorry for all the delay on the t-shirts, the mask that's been somewhere in this world. We have no idea. Uh, and uh, sorry, Nathan, for uh, just missing you. Just being honest. I had so many, I just totally missed you. But I got you, bro. Got you today. So I want to show the mountains off because the mountains are going to be beautiful today. And I will say this. It takes one hell of a guy to stand up. And uh, when you can't do it, you can't do it. I care. Well, when there's two on you, you're done. Anyways, look how beautiful it is. It's like a slap in the face. God, that's like a slap in the face. Like I was saying, guys, it takes a stand-up guy to know when he's in the wrong or, or he can't do something. And the way that I handled it is the way that everybody needs to handle it because there's a lot of scammers out there that take people's money and don't deliver don't do what they say and I'm not that person at all so and I'm proving it right now and I have proved it and like I said my channel is amazing I have amazing people on here um, just God gifted people so I want to thank you all so much for real bottom of my heart I just can't express to you guys how much and how grateful I am uh, to have you all in my life and to watch uh, me and Canyon grow together um, It just it's just amazing. So I wanted to put this on on camera to show everybody the ones that uh, um, That 
that I'm delivering. I'm fixing to pull in the post office, and I want you all to watch me do it so you, uh, you know that they're out there and they're gone. Get over here. There we go. We got a little bitty post office, but they're cool, though, man. These ladies in here are so cool. But here we are. We're at the post office. Right, ya. Hope everybody's doing awesome too today. Hope, hope everybody's having an awesome day today. Come on out of there. So we're gonna take a ride after this. We're gonna take a ride um, through town, do some errands. I don't know how far through town we're gonna go, but we're gonna go and look at the mountains and uh, just go from there and vlog from there. So give me just a second. And like I said, I've got one package, two package, three package, four packages right there so y'all get ready those four will be to you as soon as the post office gets them to you so sorry linda that the other two masks are held up somewhere probably in egypt i have no idea but they will be coming and um i also want to say that i did not delete you off of my facebook you deleted yourself so that i couldn't get a hold of you um you were still on my messenger i tried to get a hold of you a minute ago but there you, you deleted off of me so i guess you think i'm a piece of shit so that's not the case the case is is that i'm sending you your stuff it's just taking me just a second so everybody just hang tight and let's get these things delivered all right guys i got my tracking numbers right here so they should be on their way or things first class everything is priority and i also want to say thank you to the couple the youtube family as i call it thank you so much for uh the golden corral uh gift cards like that's awesome and it's tay and john kester i hope i said that right and thank you so much for the card i just read your card right here so awesome of you guys and the golden corral uh um gift cards like the golden corral love golden corral just like i love cracker Barrel. me and canyon will wear that place out so anyways uh thank you so so much that was really really awesome of you see what i'm saying about my youtube family like it's amazing it's awesome we used to get stuff all the time and now that i've slowed down uh just being honest now that i've slowed down not going to pigeon forge because i'm in knoxville working all the time everything has changed so uh summertime is coming we've got rod run so that's why i say stick around it will always get better and you never know what you're going to get from me or my son and we're just growing it's a venture it's a journey i'm going through uh a battle right now uh with life you know and some of the people uh that are close to me know what i'm talking about uh and if everybody knew what i was going through <laughs> you would completely understand everything but i can't just tell the whole thing but anyways guys there's the mountains they're so beautiful they are it's a clear day it's a beautiful day oh my gosh it's a little cold but it ain't cold you see me in short sleeves um traffic out the wahoo uh it's starting to get there guys winter time is almost over and it's like at the end of winter is like when people are the most like like depressed that's i've noticed that even myself like that's when people get down and out and i just don't know so hope everybody's doing good god bless everybody and if something's going wrong you know i'm praying i pray for everybody every day of my life every day and those things things those mountains are so beautiful i do look at all the little popcorn popper things that looks like i think that's what that is it ain't carpet it looks like those little balls that you put in wrapping or something i have no idea what that is 
anyways all right about to pass uh knife works which which is um <laughs> worldwide nationwide known um still here still standing strong and uh let's get on through here and let's get on my little uh little routine route i gotta do here i got a couple just a few little errands i gotta run and i just want to take y'all along with me so uh this is what look man it's so beautiful right now i cannot get over that I, i'm serious I, I just get stuck on it and like i said you guys i've only been on youtube now for a year um we was at 2400 and now that I don't vlog as much in Pigeon Forge, I lose a little bit. But hey, I know who my tr true people are, and they know what's going to happen. So, I love it. And we're not going nowhere neither. We're only going to get bigger, better, and a lot funner. Just hang in there with me. Speaking of Golden Corral, thank you guys. Right there it is. Me and Canyon's gonna have to do a, a food review there. And we will wear that place out. And I always love showing the American flag uh, with the mountains. Uh, here in town, it's always slim. People can't drive. It's still the same, guys. Nothing's changed. Just the mountains just keep getting beautiful every day. So, anyways, let's get through this mess I'm in. The law is everywhere. I'm telling you, man, it's mostly drugs. There's been a lot of drug activity. There's been shootings. There's been, like, car chases. There's been all kinds of stuff going down now. Uh, Sevier County, right here at the courthouse, they finally bought a daggum, like, SWAT truck. Uh, they posted it on their Facebook. They're getting serious nowadays. Um, drugs have just took over uh, so much, and it's so sad. Uh, I was a victim of it for 20 years. I was chained down for a long time. I did a lot of time inside that jail right there. This is the juvenile jail. Um, but anyways, you know, you can always change. The addict just has to make that choice to change. And what does uh, make an addict change? I didn't have a kid. I did 430 days in jail. And uh, after 20 years of running the roads and going to jail, so many, I, I've got a story that's crazy, but that's beside the point. But what changed me was my freedom. When I got locked up for 430 days and my freedom was taken away, and I was like brushing my teeth while somebody was taking a crap. I was sitting, I, I'd have to like poop next to somebody. People see you shower. You see people do things in the shower. I mean, you, you don't understand unless you've been in that environment and been in there for so long. When you miss a Christmas, you miss all holidays, birthdays, everything. And that's what broke me down. That's what I was like, I'm done. This is, when I walked out, I slipped up a little bit and then I quit. I, I knew where I was going. Judge Dunn told me if I come back in there, I'm going straight to prison. There's no going to jail. You're going straight to prison. That's how bad I was around here. But anyways, um, it's just horrible and it's sad. And I just wish that addiction wasn't even heard of. It was just nothing. But I've been to so many funerals right there at Ashley's Funeral Home. It's unbelievable. It really is. It's so sad. It's took so many lives. And it's going to keep taking lives. And there's so many people out there that's affected by it. It's almost in every household in the world. Damn near every household. I, I, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, I'll just be quiet about it. Y'all leave in the comments what y'all think about it. What y'all think about just addiction 
Has it affected you? Is it in your family? What's it done to you? Was you an addict? You know, let me know these things. Like, I've been there, man. I've 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 been there. I've I've detoxed cold turkey. I can't tell you how many times. I've beat the bed, plumb through the floor. I've went just plumb crazy trying to detox, and it's rough. That's what keeps you basically going back to get high again because you don't want to be dope sick it's sad man it really is but anyways we're in Sevierville right now traffic's just crammed as always it's 3 30 uh that's everybody's starting to get off work and this and that uh but i just wanted to share that man addiction is very serious and uh, I take that to heart because, you know, I'm going through a lot right now as it is, and uh, I'm affected by it uh, right now. I'm having, I know somebody that's going through it, and uh, I hope to God that they um, they get it this time because if they don't, they'll end up dead. That's just the only way out is death. After so long, I mean, they're putting fentanyl and heroin now so it's just a matter of time when you stick that needle in your arm or you snort that line you don't know if you're gonna wake back up and hopefully somebody's around that can narcan your ass to get you up but anyways i gotta make another stop after i get done we're gonna head to pigeon forge for a second and see what we get into and here we go through town. Hard Rock, Wonderworks, Hatfield McCoy's, Titanic, Beyond the Lens. Oh, it feels good coming through here. It's been a minute since I've come through here. The mountains are looking good. I've got to get us up in the mountains, what I got to do. wait to canyon this summer we're gonna have so much fun and shout out to big ed look how oh my man there he is love that man big ed i had to do a shout out local goat always slam they need to sponsor me as many times I've shouted them out anyways let's head back to the house get to that boy get some dinner go from there I hope you guys have had an awesome little ride with me had an awesome little talk there's my pigs that fly they're still flying. Haha, <laughs> Miss Piggy, Arnold, Hamhawk, Bacon, still getting it. Love you guys to death. Praying for everybody. And always, always, always be nice. Love you guys. I will see you on the next video.